it's Nancy today. Well, that was fun. I picked up two hitchhikers, which were my my daughter Elida's friends. One of them was, was a person I knew already. He lives in one town and hitchhikes to the next town all the day. They play in a band. Anyway, that was fun. But now they're gone, so I'm all by myself again, so I have to talk to you. That's not all bad, is it? It's not all bad. I could go back out there to the main highway, but I think I'm going to try this back road. Let's see, there's a cool back road in here. Out there is the main highway. But if I take this back road, I wonder if it parallels the main highway for a while. It probably doesn't. It probably twists around and I'll probably get lost and use a lot of time, a lot of gas. But it's always an adventure. I like learning things. I will find out where it goes. Because if you drive one road all the time, and that's the only road you know, you think you know the whole area, but really you don't. You only know that one road. Am I not up far enough? If I go up far enough, then the... You know, some of these intersections, they have cuts in the road. See those cuts there? Uh, it's probably going too fast for you. Anyway, they have cuts in the road, and in them is a piece of metal. And if you, are, if you drive your car up far enough, you'll be on that piece of metal. And it's a weight thing, a weight trigger thing, which will turn the light. And if you're not up on it, then you don't you don't get the light to know that you're there, and so you won't it won't turn so quickly. Oh, look, it's a no exit. In Canada, they don't say dead end. They say no exit. Well, let's just go down to the no exit and to the end and turn around down there. Oh well. At least I'm getting to find out what this is. See, over there is a highway way over there somewhere. And over here isn't. The road is getting worse. Worse and worse and worse. They have a little marsh in their front yard. I guess people don't come down here very much if it's a no exit place. Look at it. No wonder it's a no exit. It's a river. Look at all that beautiful red osier dogwood there. See that red stuff there? Look how straight it is. Some of that would be good for weaving baskets. Okay, well, Snedden's. I'm going to turn around in your yard. That was our little adventure. Wasn't that exciting? I don't have my clippers. And it's too wet out there now anyway. But it's good to take stock of what's out there. Did you ever do that? Now the time to find out, if you want to harvest a lot of apples, and wild apples which might have worms in them and whatever, a lot of people don't want wild apples at all. And they just assume go and buy them at the store. Now this year it might be a little different because there is less money to go around. However, people are still picky enough. They're going to be picky until they're very hungry. But they're picky enough that they probably will not start eating those apples. But if you want to eat those apples, what thing to do? Hey, there's a road here. A lane. Let's see where this one goes. This doesn't say no exit. It says new lakefront homes. So we'll see. Yeah, I guess we're not going to be able to get this because we're going to have to go back and get the bridge. Look at this beautiful red osier dogwood. See those nice straight red stems? It needs to be cut every year and then it would be perfect. But the best time to start cutting it is now. Anyway, I was going to tell you. The way to... The way to... Um, if you want to make apple cider or something and you're going to need a whole bunch of apples, the way to accumulate the apples is in the spring when the apple trees are in bloom, drive around the countryside and see where the apple trees are. Look at that. Boy, it looks like Cypress Swamp in Florida. The river's in Florida. This is Lakefront Homes, Lakefront Property. Yes, indeed. Don't you wish your house was down in there? Now these are raspberry cane, these red ones right up beside the edge. Still ice on it. 
or there's ice on it again. Oh, but look at how the water has gone down. You see the water marks on the trees, how it was higher? Waterfront. Oh, I see it's something here that's for sale. Shall we go look? Look! A couch. Okay, so anyway, the way you should do that is go um, in the spring when you see the apple trees and fruit trees in bloom. Drive